Jacob, Lori, Allie, Bella, Kaden, Jenna, and I'm Tyler. Um, this is my persuasive speech for Mrs. Stone's class. Um, um, this speech is called, Put It Down, It's Not Worth It. So back in 2014, it was a, it was a hot summer day, and uh, actually a summer morning, and I went to Chick-fil-A to uh, get my wife some breakfast. And so I'm leaving Chick-fil-A, I pull out, and I texted her to say, hey, I'm on my way, I got the food. And I look up, and boom, it happened. I had rear-ended another vehicle, totaled her car, and ruined mine pretty badly. A damage of over... $30,000. And luckily, nobody was hurt severely. Today, my goal is to try to persuade my audience, you guys, to put the phone down and stop texting while driving. Number one, it's the law. Uh, according to section 316-305-3A, a person may not operate a motor vehicle while manually typing letters into a wireless communication device. In the same law, it authorizes law enforcement officers to stop motor vehicles and issue a citation for texting while driving. I learned this uh, from Jake Fisher, who is actually a director for auto testing for uh, consumer reports. He says that most states have actually banned texting while driving, including California, Delaware, New York, West Virginia, Connecticut, and many more. Uh, this law will actually prevent crashes from happening. Um, it reduces injuries uh, to motorists, bicyclists, and pedestrians. I mean, if you think back of how many times you might have might have been distracted and and look up and and see see a car in front of you and have to slam on your brakes, it really prevents all of that if you're 100% focused on the road. Um, kind of the, some of the teen texting and driving statistics. I mean. Uh, according to the uh, National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration, actually 11 teens die every day from texting while driving. Pretty crazy to think about. Comparing the number to drunk drivers, which was, I believe, 440 last, excuse me, 440 a week in 2016. Uh, 17, uh, which is a 17% every year. It's a 17% increase uh, from, teen, from, from year to year. In 2014, there were 2,955 distraction-related vehicle crashes. More teens are driving each year. So that means more teens have cell phones and more teens are looking at the, you know, not, not paying attention while they're driving. Um, in 2014, 404 people died in a car crash due to cell phones. That's 404 people died in a car crash due to cell phones. So how can we prevent it? Well, if we think back to, you know, say we're driving in our car and we have our little brothers or, or our kids in the, in the car, um, they have better eyes than we do. They are watching us 100% of the time. So if we're driving and using our cell phone, they're going to notice, and, and we got to stop that because we can put their lives in danger, and we can put our own lives in danger. And maybe one day they're probably going to do it too. So we need to be careful what we do in front of our kids. <clears throat> so what can we do to prevent it? Like, like using automated systems, maybe uh, voice-activated GPS, Siri, things like that. Every single day of life, I mean, we, we typically get in a car and drive to or from work. What we do to communicate with others and how we do them, complete, it's completely up to us. So we really need to be careful what we do every single day whenever we're going to and from work and how we communicate with people. How responsible are you going to be today? Are we going to save a life today? Maybe you're wrong. 